Hi there. Welcome to the new Royal Palms here in sunny Fort Lauderdale. Opening in February, we're going to be Fort Lauderdale's largest luxury gay resort. 62 rooms, three pools, jacuzzi, bar, cafe, spa, and gym. We're going to be hopping here. Um, service, top notch. We'll be spoiling you, everybody here in Fort Lauderdale. So this is the front building. We're going to have 23 rooms here in the front building. Okay, over here is we're going to have a pool cabana. We're going to have a nice hot guy who will be servicing all our guests, rubbing in suntan lotion, spritzing them, giving them lovely um, cold towels with eucalyptus, lavender and chamomile. And then when we pan over here, this front building has uh, 23 king-size bedrooms. And then on the top floor, we have two rooms that have ocean views. Then as you pan down here, then we have our, our pool bar with outdoor seating uh, for 24, has 24 um, chairs, pool chairs around. And then we have a cafe. So the cafe seating is going to be in the central area between the two buildings. There'll be seating for 24 tables, or 24 seats, I should say. And then inside the cafe itself, there's going to be seating for 16 people. And as you pan around the pool, we're going to have three big cabanas at the end. The pool furniture is going to be very, very trendy, very streamlined. Of course, all the pool pavers are going to be gray and very sleek. The whole building is going to be white and have a very sleek look. Landscaping is going to be lush, but a lot of bougainvillea for color. Um, and as I said, gray pavers, um, sort of gray, um, modern lounge chairs. So uh, as you can see, all the rooms have been absolutely gutted. So rooms are going to be very minimalist. White leather headboards, floor to ceiling. All these rooms are going to have king-size beds, big gray pavers, gray walls, a shag carpet around the bed, wonderful Denistine images on the wall, very contemporary bathrooms with um, rain showers, and 42-inch TVs. Very sleek, very stylish, and very sexy, very minimalist, and very different here for Fort Lauderdale, and very different for the gay market. There's gonna be nothing like this in the United States for the gay traveler. There's no question in my mind that we are going to be the first. So this is gonna be our gym, very free rate free weights, bicycle, elliptical. This is going to be our spa. We're going to have four treatment rooms. We're going to have a double um, massage room. We're going to have a wet um, treatment room. And then we're going to have a spa, a, a manicure, pedicure area. So this is our back building here. We have uh, 27 rooms back here. Some of these rooms, I think 12 of them are going to be double queen rooms. It's a three-story building. Once again, this whole building is having a complete refit.
when I opened the original Royal Palms in 1991, I, I helped put gay Fort Lauderdale on the map without realizing it. Um, because what happened, you know, after, after a few years, my, some of my regular guests decided they loved Fort Lauderdale, they loved the gay scene here and they wanted to be a part of it. So they then decided to buy gay bed and breakfast and become a part of the gay scene. And basically it just grew and grew and as the destination grew and grew. And now I believe that we as the Royal Palms raise the bar year after year. And what we're doing now is we're raising the bar to a, a completely new level. And I think we are going to help internationally raise the bar for the gay and lesbian travel market. We're really going to help put Fort Lauderdale on the map internationally. Fort Lauderdale unquestionably is known in the USA, but we want Fort Lauderdale known in Europe. And I think this is the way we're going to do it here. Gay tourism is an extremely integral part of the tourism market here in Fort Lauderdale. Um, approximately one million gay and lesbian travelers visit Greater Fort Lauderdale and spend approximately one billion dollars. That is a huge amount of money. Um, a huge amount of money. So, and that is um, a market that is still growing in my mind. And I just have to look at it when I wear my, um, my, my Greater Fort Lauderdale tourism hat. And I see, you know, our county's gay budget. We, we've been growing that budget year after year. And um, without doubt, the gay market is no longer a niche market for us. It's a, it's a market in its own right. For us, the timing is perfect. Um, it couldn't, couldn't be more perfect and our marketing tools are in place and we, we're ready for, for season, we'll be ready for season and we'll be ready in, in February. Well, we decided it was time for maybe a face look if you like. Um, so we tweaked our logo a little bit, we kind of removed our palm trees and we've, we've become what I call more sleek, more stylish, more sexy and we've moved to a stainless steel look. Rooms are going to be minimalist, uh, grey tiles, um, the headboards are going to be white leather, floor to ceiling, very simple, very crisp, crisp linens. Um, we're going to use Dennis Dean's images in the rooms. Um, obviously, we're still going to maintain our, our, our famous Dendrobian orchids touches everywhere, um, but definitely more minimalist. We're going to be a little bit more edgy, um, a little more trendy, and we're definitely going to be looking for a slightly more younger demographic. We want, we want, we want the, the bar area to happen a little bit. We want it definitely more of a meeting place on the beach. So we want it to become a scene, for sure. There's nothing like a royal flush at the Royal Palms.